Good morning and welcome to LU Life Church. This is your life host, the Reverend Dr. Donicia Palmer. And here we are, the first Sunday of December 2021. We're in the last month of the year. Where has time flown to? Well, we we are here and we have to make the most of our day. So thank you for joining me today. As you notice, the topic, 10 tips for wholesome living. There are 10 simple tips, really. It should say 10 simple tips for wholesome living. But before we start, as is usual, can we just take time for a grateful breath? Hmm. On this first Sunday of the beginning of the last month of the year, in this moment, how grateful we are to life for all that we have been through, that life has taken us through to be in this moment. We take time to reflect our life and to say thank you for this moment. And for the moments and days and months and weeks that we are hoping that we will enjoy. And so in this space and in this next breath, we say thank you. Thank you, life. Thank you, life. It, it pays, you know, to take time out to say thank you to life that breathes you, that lives you. It is very much worth taking the time always to be grateful. Okay, so let's get on with it. It's very, very short today. 10 tips. Okay, the first tip, as much as is in your power, only look at wholesome words, wholesome messages, posts, movies, texts, and so on, images, and basically whatever you look at. Because what you consume is consuming you. I told you it was very simple. <laughs> 10 simple tips, and that's your first tip. As much as is in your power, only look at what is wholesome, wholesome words, Wholesome messages, wholesome posts, wholesome movies and texts and images. You see, because these carry a frequency, we might not be aware of that. But every image you look at, look at an image on your screen. That guy is smiling. It just, doesn't it, isn't it inviting? Isn't it warm? How unpleasant it was, would be if you're looking on your screen and you're viewing something that is just miserable. It is changing the frequency. You might not straight away recognize it, but images carry a frequency. So be very, very careful who you're following, you know, like their posts. What are they posting? If they're only posting things that when you look at it, it's carrying images of woe and doom. Well, I would advise you to stop. If you're watching movies, that your eyes is always seeing these these bloody things, it's awful, it's 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 really not good for your inside, then stop, you know? And uh so it pays you very much what you look at. Okay, so that's your first tip for wholesome living. Okay, tip two. <laughs> very much like the first, as much as in your power. Only listen to wholesome conversations. Why? Yeah. <laughs> you see, sounds carry a vibration. What did I say earlier? Images carry a frequency. Well, sound carry a vibration. And a negative vibration, can, oh my goodness, can put your joints out of place. It can rock your world and turn stuff upside down. So watch what you listen to. Imagine that, watch what you listen to. Yeah, but it's true. Watch your conversations. Watch where, you know, where you are leading in conversation, where others are leading in conversation. If the conversation is going, you notice going in a 
direction that's continually negative and, you know, come on, toxic, then either you get out of it or you change it, you know, so it's in your power, as much as in your power, because sometimes, you know, if you're working in an office environment, for instance, and you have to be in your office, you can't just come out, you know, <laughs> not sure if you can wear a headphone like this guy is doing, but really and truly, you know, you know, put all the joking aside, we need to watch the media that we're listening to, the music, that, you know what message is the music carrying? What's the what's the, the the vibration behind that music? You know what is it stirring in your soul? Complaints? Oh my goodness! Are you listening to complaints? Maybe it's your job to listen to com to complaints. Well, you need to go home and take time out to listen to something that's uplifting, something meaningful, something that's feeding your life. You know, listen, listen to what you're listening to listen to what you're listening to so watch if there's a lot of murmuring a lot of sad stories a lot of things about hate um you know any hate-filled words just try to dim diminish that demise it you know reduce it get rid of it if i were you anything about worries you know it has a way of attracting itself and, and bringing you you know bringing you down like it's like ticks you know like like lice you know they just go on you can't really even see them but what it does it's it's just pulling you down pulling your spirit down so you know if you have to cry excuse or turn off or change the channel if necessary and at the most at the most okay look after your own thoughts. So listen to your own thoughts. Now, this is something that <laughs> many people find hard because their their mind is always cha 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 cha, and it's negative chatter, it's unwholesome chatter. So, as much as in your power, watch, uh, listen to your own thoughts. So, as much as you don't want to hear other people's complaints all the time, sad stories, hate hateful words worries and so on you have to watch your own thoughts okay and learning then to say no to your own negative thoughts help you and you know what it does it actually set up um, what you actually attract towards yourself okay quick moving on tip three very simple i told you tips for wholesome living drink water lots of water some will tell me, oh, yes, 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 I drink water in tea, you know, or yes, there is water, isn't it, in soft drinks or coffee. But I'm saying to you today, drink water, okay, water, 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 drink lots of water. Your brain needs it. Your skin needs it. Your tissues need it. Your lungs need it. Your life needs it. Water holds the secret you know what not just water it is what you think about when you drink water that's is very important have you thought about that so you know that container that you drink your water from maybe your water bottle speak down into your water right speak into your water before you even drink that water bless that water say thank you set intention over your water I know it sounds simple, and I told you it's just a tip for wholesome living. Okay, are you ready to move on with me? Good. Tip four. Ah, glow, sparkle, shine. That's tip four. Glow, sparkle, shine. Do not dip your light to please anyone. Do not dip your light to try to fit in or to get or keep friends if that's the case there are friends you could very well do without you just do not need that type of people around you where you have to dip your light surround yourself with whatever encourages support lift you up inspire and even push you you know sometimes we want to walk away from things that push us but those things that are pushing you into the light okay not pulling you into the darkness but pushing you into the light okay 
to encourage you, to support you, to motivate you. What you know, those things that motivate you, motivate yourself, you know, and also, you know, surround yourself with those things that surprise you. You know, it excites you. The surprise is excited. And you know what? Starting with you. Sparkle. Create opportunities to sparkle. Now, while I was talking about that, it came to my mind that perhaps someone might say, well, can't I just share if I'm not feeling well with a friend? Of course you can. But what I'm saying, share it in the hope of hearing an encouraging word back from that friend, not to stay. You know, after you've talked about um, something that is negative, you don't want to stay in that negative. You want to then find a solution. So that is what I'm saying. You know, when I'm saying, you know, sort of walk away from conversations that um, it's just complaints and murmur and, and, you know, just the sad story is if that conversation wants to stay in the sad story, then then it, it's pointless, isn't it? What's the point of, you know, yes, you can share, but with the intent that in sharing, this is going to lift the burden. Once the burden is lifted, the burden is no longer there. So do you know what? Glow, sparkle and shine. All right. Good. Tip five. <laughs> Do not expect from someone what you are not giving to yourself. You know, some people want love, but really and truly, they do not totally love themselves. Or others want respect and happiness from others when they, they do not respect or nor are they happy for themselves. They're not happy about themselves. They don't respect themselves. They would, you know, when they talk about themselves, they talk, oh my goodness, you wonder who they're talking about. <laughs> if they're talking about their self like that, how are they going to talk about me? Begin to say some good things about yourself, even if it is to yourself in the mirror. Be happy with yourself. Be happy about yourself. Find 10 things to be happy about yourself. Start with 10 and work your way up to 100 things that I'm happy about from about myself. Well, I am happy about myself. Respect yourself. Respect yourself enough not to carry around a sour face. Well, respect yourself enough not to be angry, to carry angry feeling. Respect yourself enough not to carry a bitter wound and problems around and situation and thoughts and playing that negative um, record, you know, break that record, okay, throw it away. Well, these days we don't have um, a <laughs> record anymore, we have CDs. Break the CD, get rid of it, okay, don't play over and over. Respect yourself enough to give yourself those things that, that you know, what you're expecting from someone else, for instance, love, love yourself totally, okay, and respect yourself and be happy for yourself. So that's tip five. Okay, coming, winding down. And what is it? 10 simple steps for wholesome living. Okay, number six. Woo, choose good, right, and pleasant. All right, choose good, right, and pleasant always. That is, even if it means looking like a fool, even if it means waiting, stick to what you know and believe is good, right and pleasant so that's simple i think that's self-explanatory even if it means waiting sometimes you know oh i know it's not good i just know it's not pleasant right now so i'm you know i'm gonna have to choose this thing no 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 it has to re resonate on the three on the three plane okay it has to come up so good needs to be at this level Right needs to be at this level and pleasant needs to be at this level. If they are out of sync, you're not going to, to be in the best, you know, in the best in the best place. So as much as in your power, as much as is in your power, choose what is right, what is good and what is pleasant. Even if it means looking like a fool or even if it means waiting, stick to what you know and believe is good and right and pleasant. Okay, moving on to tip seven. Take notice of what you love. Ooh, ooh. You know, by asking some pertinent question like, is this good for me? 
how does this benefit my life? You see, so it is what it's what you or what you love about you. Notice what you love, who you love. Okay, what is bringing you more and more peace? Is what you love bringing you more joy, more peace, more rest? These are pertinent questions to ask. You know, I, I, I say I love this thing. I say I love this. But is it good for me? Is it bringing me rest? Is it bringing me more joy? Is it bringing me more peace? So, you know, noticing what you love by asking those very pertinent questions. Only two left now after the oh no one more <laughs> so eat next quest next one about tip for wholesome living eat only what is good for you uh oh talking to myself here this is a big one for me <laughs> so eat only what is great for you so how do we do that right so just some helpful tips here celebrate your food can you really truthfully celebrate what you're eating Thank each time you take some food into your mouth, okay? Be thankful. Be thankful for each dish that you eat. Take time to admire and commend your food. Don't just, you know, gobble it down. Take time to admire it. Take time to commend it because it's good for you. So... This tip does not is self-explanatory. What you put into your body, be very aware of what you put into your body. Nine. A tip for wholesome living. Number nine, treat your body like a sacred space. Treat your body like a temple for divine presence. Treat your body like heaven and your mind as the gatekeeper, yes, for who and what may enter and also treat your mind then as the power to remove or to eradicate. So what is tip nine? To treat your body like a sacred temple, a temple, a sacred space for divine presence. Treat your body like heaven and your mind as that gatekeeper for heaven. So therefore you are very careful then about who and what may enter and you give that your mind the power to eradicate or to remove anything that wouldn't keep that, that um, you know, your sacred space sacred so that there will be always that divine presence, okay? So that's what you, you, you are aware of about your body. Yeah, this is sacred space. All right. And the final tip, take time to be grateful. My name is, my spiritual name is Apostle Grateful. Grateful is my nature, my template, my domain. In gratitude, I live and move and have my being. Gratitude feeds and guides my way. I am grateful. So, this morning I've shared with you 10 simple tips for wholesome living. I'll quickly just read them off. One, as much as in your power, only look at wholesome words, messages, and so on. Number two, very much like number one, in that, as much as in your power, only listen to wholesome conversations, sounds, etc. Because why? Sounds carry a vibration and images a frequency. Tip three was to drink lots of water. Tip four was to glow, sparkle and shine. Tip five was do not expect from someone what you are not giving yourself. Tip six was choose good, right and pleasant. Tip seven, take note of what you love. Tip eight was to eat what is good for you only. Number nine was to treat your body like a sacred space a temple for divine presence and number 10 the final tip was to take time to be grateful so hopefully we'll practice those start them in motion today and happy happy 
wholesome living. This was your life host, the Reverend Dr. Donisio Palmo at LU Life Church. If you have not yet subscribed, this is your opportunity to do so by clicking on the subscribe button below and all our future segments will come straight into your inbox. Today, you have an opportunity. If you would like so wish to give a thank you offering, then you can go directly into the description box below. There will be a PayPal link there that will take you straight to the PayPal website. Or you might go straight to the Google, go in Google to the PayPal website, and there you can make a payment to your offering to lulifechurch at gmail.com. That is lulifechurch at gmail.com. Thank you in advance for any gift of any size. Now, you may wish to leave us a comment. A comment is a great place to bless others and to say thank you in a way to your spirit for having listened to, to something that is wholesome for you. And you can pass this on too. Please pass this on to encourage somebody else, giving them some tips to encourage them this week. Leave us a thumbs up to let us know you were here. Now, I close the same way I started by saying thank you to life for today. Thank you in advance, life, for every breath that we have had and in advance for every breath that we will take today and hopefully this week to come. I bless you. Thank you for listening. And same time next week, okay? Bless you.